What is up guys, Smooth here, back with another Minecraft video, and you might be wondering why exactly we're looking at my desktop background over here, which is amazing by the way, and that's because I'm going to be showing you all how to install Minecraft mods, since I plan on doing a whole ton of videos reviewing all different kinds of mods that you can customize your game with, so without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your browser and go to this website right over here, files.mindforge.net. And once you get over there, you're going to see a ton of download links, but we're mostly going to focus on what we see at the top. And to decide which link you're going to need, you're going to go to wherever you downloaded your mods, and you're going to see I'm at the Minecraft Forum mod section. And it says right at the beginning which version is needed for each respective mod. So I already have one in mind that I'm going to download, and it's for 1.7.2, so let's go back over here. And you're going to see you have a link for latest and recommended, but you generally want to go with recommended because sometimes the latest can be a little bit buggy. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click installer, which is going to lead me to this AdFly link. Once you get over here, you just wait the five seconds out and you will have your Forge download for you. So let's just wait it out. And there we go. Skip add, save file, and it should appear for us right over here. So we're just going to open it up and this could appear in your downloads folder or wherever your downloads go. And you'll get this come out right here. So this one is pretty self-explanatory. All you really need to do is click OK. It should already be on install client. And then you just press OK. Successfully installed client, and there we go, we have it. This next step doesn't apply to everybody, but if you do happen to fall into the situation, this is something you're definitely going to want to know. And basically, before you run any version of Forge, you want to make sure you run that vanilla version beforehand, so that way Forge has something to modify. So I'm going to open up Minecraft and select my profile, then click Edit Profile. And you're going to see right over here, I already have my 1.7.2 Forge version selected. If I haven't run 1.7.2 Vanilla first, I would click right over here and just scroll to 1.7.2 and then save profile and press play. So once this is done, afterwards I can run Forge and it will have something to modify. So that's pretty much all you have to do if you do fall into that situation. The next step is where you start adding the mods and I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. The first one is you have Minecraft already open and you're going to go to Options, click Resource Packs and then click Open Resource Pack Folder and you're going to see it takes you right here. You're going to see .minecraft and you're just going to click that and this is going to take you to exactly where you want to be. I'm going to show you a different way to do the same thing and you would just go down over here to your Start menu, type in percent, app data, percent and you're going to see it will take you to your roaming folder which is exactly where we were just at. So you're just going to click .minecraft and again we're at the same place. So once you get into this folder you're going to see that you have a mods folder right over here. If you happen to not have it for whatever reason you could just add it yourself. So we're just going to double click that and you're going to see it says this folder is empty. So this is basically going to be where we add all of our mods. So I'm just going to drag over this right over here. This is 1.7.2 damage indicators. So all you have to do is drag it in once you download it and that's pretty much it. I have this mod good and ready to go. So now the final step, which you've all been waiting for, is to test out if our mod has been installed properly. So we're going to open up Minecraft, and we're going to make sure that we run the version of Forge that we just downloaded. So we're going to go and edit profile, switch to release 1.7.2 Forge, and save profile, then press play. I'm going to click single player and create a new world, and we're just going to go into creative. So we're going to create new world and load it up. So our world just loaded up and I'm going to go over there to that pig and see if our damage indicators mod was installed properly. So let's go over there and point our cursor at him. And there you have it. You can see in the top left we have his HP right over there. So damage indicators was installed properly. So that's pretty much all there is to it guys. I hope I made this as quick and easy for you all to follow as possible. If you found this video helpful, a like would be very much appreciated. And if you're looking for new mods to add to your Minecraft, subscribe and I'll be doing a ton of reviews for you all to check out in the future. Anyway guys, take it easy and I'll see you all soon.